Hello viewers, welcome to The Veil Show with Andy and I am thrilled to bring to you our first series on the show. I'm your host, Endurance Onoto and today we'll be exploring a fascinating topic on love and joining me in this conversation is our esteemed guest, our first guest on the show, Mr. Jarrell Daniels. Mr. Jarrell Daniels is married with his wife, Mrs. Tina Daniels and they are blessed with two children. He's an actor, a musician and MC. Mr. Jared, yeah. you're welcome on the show. So viewers, let's dive into the moment of romance and see what makes love so captivating. Mr. Jared, yeah. I'm going to start by asking this very, uh, I know it might sound so, but then this question, do you believe in love at first sight? Oh, okay. Endurance. Um, I, I, I don't know if it's about belief for me, okay. but I, I think it, it has worked some people and I think that it exists. But for okay. me as a person, I think that love is is is, is wide. It's it's a very, very fragile um, it's, it's 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 a it's, is it it should be handled with care so not just to be rushed into our first sight. Okay. So for me I will not tell you I don't believe. Okay. I think that it exists but personally I don't think it works for me. I think that you should take time with whoever you're falling in love with. Um, you, should, you, should, you should understand each other. There's a process to it. And that's how I think it works for me. But I think that it exists and it has worked for some people. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now looking back on your journey, you're married to Mrs. Tina. So looking back on that experience, would you say what, we, what you had for her was not at first sight? Like when you met her, what was that thing mm. that made you know, ah, this is the one? Okay, so there, there's a thing with the you know first sight that's still with the sight okay. which of course the attraction is from the sight which will now drive emotions okay. uh, more like oh wow okay maybe she has those specs i was looking for and all that but i don't think that first instance should be called love okay, okay. Um, maybe an attraction kind of so i wouldn't call that instance love, love at, at first, first sight. sight but i okay. think there was an attraction okay yeah there's something i felt okay let me go for this young woman she looks good and hopefully this goodness can transform into oh, something else yeah. with time. So you are trying to tell us now that you took your time and yeah. you were step by step in. Yeah, so I, I took, I saw her then, but I, I was like, okay, where, where is she from? Because it was an environment where I was comfortable with a lot of people, but seeing her like for the first for time the first there. Time. So I was okay. wondering what's bringing this girl into this mix. Okay. Let me just do a quick follow up. And somehow, uh, a cousin to her was around. Like, Can I get her contact? And then I think that same evening the conversation started. And today, history. Wow, that's that's a very good one. That's a very good <laughs> one. Applaud to say to that. Yes. Okay, so sir, you've written a lot of music, you've written mm. a lot of songs, and so once you know you've written songs on love. Yeah. So what was the inspiration? Like, where did you get the inspiration from to write those songs? There's one thing that has kept man in that evolution and that's fire maybe it's new to to okay. you mm -hmm. in these revolutions fire has been constant fire was used to power steam engine power, fire was used to generate energy to cook and all that that fire concept being redefined and redefined over time today with fire we're able to fly planes yeah we were able to make phones oh. so i feel personally that the next discovery that can change the world outside fire is love. Mm -hmm. If love can be harnessed the way fire has been harnessed. So you see that the way we approach love, it has made the world worse than it is to a certain extent. To a certain extent okay. So when I when I when I see love, I, I see it differently. And that's why I talk about most of my songs. It's about love, love, seeing it differently. From the beauty eyes of my children, I find love. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. There's a love that comes from your mother. That's amazing love that you experience from your father. 
there's a kind of love that you get from your wife you understand so for me love is not static it's not it's not about just romantic there's a love you get from society there's a love you get from your neighbors you all, you understand so if we can just harness all those energies of love the world make the world our world a better place so that's why i'm so passionate to talk about love differently in my music Thank you very much, Alba. I think I picked something from what you just said. You said love is not static, and the fact that we can get to pick love from different angles. Mm -hmm. You know, most people feel like this whole love of a thing, it just has to be on relationship, mm -hmm. like romantic relationship mm -hmm. per se. Mm -hmm. But then they fail to understand that you could get love from your family, yeah, yeah. your friends, the society, mm -hmm. even the church. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. But now, talking about this whole love, getting it from the society, the church, and all of that, how do you? won't keep it going like what's that key to make it last long okay so um some few years back i wrote to my social media which i said love is work mm. and a lot of people didn't understand some called me personally what do i mean if you say you're in love it's a lot of commitment mm -hmm. beyond the romantic part love requires commitment love requires a lot of energy transfer between Whoever is involved. Love, love requires sacrifice. Love, love entails giving. Love entails understanding. Love entails a lot of patience. Love, 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 love requires a lot of emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence for you to be able to, to, to call it love and for it to even last. So I see that for a whole lot, it stops at the level of emotion. And then once because if it is like a feeling, when it, when you get to you and you feel that, what what mm. happens when the feeling is not okay. there? That is that the end. So that's how I see it. That for for love to stay, for you to keep it right, you need to be intentional about it. Okay. You need to be purposeful. And there needs to be a drive. Where's this love taking us to? Because let's have that understanding. This for us to just enjoy ourselves, passionate about ourselves, and all that. But. If it has to be purposeful, then there has to be this factor. Time, commitment, money, involved, mm, and all yes, that. Yes, giving. let's not forget mm. that. <laughs> giving. And now, looking at that, that, that's to do with giving. You know, now in a society where we find ourselves, a lot of mm. persons think um, the giving has to be from one person. Yeah. They're like one end. Yeah. So I don't know, can you just throw more light on the giving? Because a lot of people feel it has to be demand. That has to do the giving uh because the ladies at the receiving end mm. then the man at the giver so please can you just show more light on the giving so we'll all understand <laughs> so a young, a young lady recently told me that that ladies are designed to receive and then they multiply yes. what they receive oh you agree with that <laughs> i don't agree but i know a lot of persons say it yeah. okay, so, uh, and then nature and god has just um Place the responsibility somehow on the man, you understand? And don't, and don't, I think that we also accepted it and we're playing with that. But for, I, I mentioned emotional intelligence recently. If, if you're a human being and you want to just be human, you should just understand that I am giving you some level of energy as you expect some. So even when it comes yeah. to finances, I can understand if you're not at the level of supporting financially. Because there's sometimes you find some imbalance when it comes to dating. Okay, mm -hmm. I am working and she's not. Where do you expect her to support financially? Of course, you should really take the body. But if you are on a certain pedestal, sometimes the man doesn't even need much. He just needs you to show that commitment that you can. Okay. Yeah, you can. Nobody says, I should not want to take you out. Sometimes it works wonders when you just surprise us and say, let's go, let's, let's go. You understand? Yeah. I, I think give and take is, is very, that's what even keeps the whole thing going. That we're able to sacrifice for one another yeah, and okay. share. Yeah. But please, I advise that for especially our young ladies, mm -hmm. please, um, men are dying young because the body is becoming too much. Oh, wow. Yes. Aside the financial body, the emotional body, and all that. So please, the smart girl should sense it and be able, especially if you are out there, to make sure this man mm. gets where he wants to be and you really love the person. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So support when you can at every level, not just finances. 
All right, thank you very much for that question. So, sir, what do you think are the red flags to look out for in a relationship with red flags? Oh, red flags. Red flags are plenty of endurance. Um, but sometimes um, I will not be able to say this is a red flag, this is a red okay. flag because of individual individual differences. I, I don't know what you are looking out for in your guy. I may personally be looking out for some things. I, I I I I love it when I am understood. I know I love it when when we have a ground to have conversation. I love it when we 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 have common ground. Of course, I'm not saying that we must have a common. There are times you argue, there are times you. But if you find yourself in a situation where you are not have, you're not communicating at all, a lot of times in relationship you find that you're not communicating. Um, I was in a relationship where I was told that I am too quick to apologize. Yeah. And I was told, I told myself, wow, is, is that a bad thing? I thought it should be a virtue. Because yeah. I know some men that even if you offended them, you still come apologize. and apologize yes. to them. But I was told that I was too quick to apologize. I was like, okay. So it, I, I think that you know what you want in a relationship. My Turn off is when it comes to so you see battery when it's in marriage, but right? when it comes to physical, physical yes. Yeah. If you're in a relationship and in a relationship already going into combat and you're hitting, please. I think that there's no need for it. You are here a modern concept this is as girls yeah. love those who, who, who beat them. Beat them. <laughs> I, I don't know how that works. But for me, that's the high point. If you're in a relationship with somebody who is not open to giving, sharing, making commitments, sacrificing to make it work in one way, oh, not just yeah, financially, yeah. time and all that, just watch out for it. Watch out for it. Yeah, this guy, this guy is still you, and you're still there. Because I don't think that usually that's how I observe it. If it doesn't work while you're in a relationship, mm -hmm. don't think that it will work when you're married. Okay. Based on what you have designed for yourself and your life, you have told yourself this is the kind of man I am, this kind of woman I am. This is the kind of relationship that you need. Now when you start having friction, of course, you should have room for understanding. Because this person you are dating, that you're having an affair with, is from a different background, different culture, okay. different environment. So there's room for cultural understanding and environmental differences. Can have that understanding, but there should be at some point a meeting point. Of course, we've seen a black man marry a Japanese, that mm -hmm. didn't happen. Just understanding. But once for me, you see those strong ones, please, there's no rule that you must stay with this person. Okay, so, so what's the thing with communication? How important is communication in, in a relationship? Communication is fundamental. I think that the lifeline to relationships. If you have to be sincere yourself, communication at a genuine level. See, communication builds trust. The more you talk to one another, the more you build trust in each other. Communication will bring about loyalty. Loyalty in relationship. Ah. See, the more you talk about things generally, especially, especially that affect, uh, that, let me not use the word affect, that concerns the relationship, relationship the better you know each other the more sincere you are to each other and then it builds better ground for you to the love is more solid when you talk almost about everything cracks starts coming when there's no communication and lack of communication brings about suspicion mm -hmm. from suspicion distrust comes in and then you just be a guy that other guy and that other girl mm -hmm. walking around you understand but talk about everything talk about finances talk about time talk about food talk about everything talk about everything the more you talk the closer you are the more you talk the closer you are so please that should be top on the list avoid situations that your the other partner is assuming is that ah what does it just talk about it and and be, be open and sincere yeah. in your responses Except you're just playing that girl or that guy. But if for a true and um, 
sincere relationship to work keep talking and doesn't stop it keeps happening continuously mm -hmm. that's the work i talk about when i said love is work so it doesn't end okay so the the, the, the thing is that some persons now who doesn't really understand what communication is some persons feel communication is just i'll call you we'll talk good morning good morning hey hey i was a night i was a day and that's all like good night good night we'll see tomorrow again yeah. we'll continue tomorrow. I don't know. It feels. I feel like there's some persons do not really know how to start or flow with a conversation, like communication. Is there like a way to teach people how to communicate, or people just need to learn it on their own? Yeah. So, for me, I don't. I don't. I think that communication comes just really? naturally. There's so much to talk about. Let's talk about our life. If we don't, if we, if I love you, let's talk about your dream. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your aspirations. Let's discuss ideas. Let's think of uh, how to make our world a better place from your perspective, from my perspective. There's so much to have conversation about in, in around you, from the television. Now the social yes. media is so. There's so much for us to generate. In fact, healthy conversation. Let's talk health. Let's talk politics. Mm -hmm. you, you see, but I know that. Even within the two, there are interests. Exactly. Football. Football. <laughs> or Z word. <laughs> and then it can be very contrasting. Exactly. Yes. So, but I, I think that's the the mystery about love, and that's where it's up to you to find. That's where the work is for you now to find the middle mm -hmm. ground between yourselves. Okay. But yeah. at every point, um, the fact that I'm interested in you makes me curious about having to know one thing or more about okay. you on a daily basis even until we go because i don't think that i can exhaust knowing you a friend of mine told me recently that the father called him to say that a marriage of over 50 years the father called him to say see what your mom just did to me he is like 41 hmm. That all my life with her, she has never Funny. done this before. So we keep exploring ourselves every. So there's there's a lot to talk about. Of course, the daily conversation on phone and all is, is is key. Is basic at least. If some people feel that's the key, yeah. mm -hmm. how are you? Have you eaten? You know mm -hmm. that word. In Very important. Yeah. Have you eaten? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so sir, in your acting career, you have um, acted various shows. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played the role of someone in love? It was a stage play. Thank you very much, Mr. Daniel. Jared, this is where we draw the curtain on this episode. Really want to say a big thank you to you. Thank you for honoring our invitation. All right, so but before you go, would you like to say anything to our viewers? Like, do you, do you have anything to just say to our viewers? Oof. I think that life should be just simple. Let's not be too hard on ourselves. So thank you very much, Mr. Jared Daniels. And this is it on today's episode of The Real Show with Andy. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as we did. But before we go, I would like to give a very special shout out to our guest for today. He really, really, really chilled us and did justice to our topic. And also to you viewers, a special shout out to you for staying tuned and for watching with us. And we would like to share with you guys that if you also want to share your own love experience with us. Do not forget to follow us on all our channels on Facebook, IG, Instagram, and X. Until then, stay tuned. For other placement and sponsorship, please call the number on your screen. Keep watching our best TV. I remain your host, Angela Spoonito. God is in charge. Thank you.